Hi, my name is Katherine Fishman and I came to Living Waters to do a 10-day cleanse because I had contracted Lyme disease years ago and since then my intestinal tract has been completely off balance and uh, resulting in a lot of diarrhea and um, just completely abnormal uh, bowel function. And so I came to do the 10-day cleanse and I've been through the gamut of every health practitioner you can imagine. I mean, from Western medicine, I tried that, to um, naturopaths and integrative medicine and uh, enzymes. And I, it really wasn't until doing the 10-day cleanse that I've actually felt some sincere and true healing happen. Um, yeah. How long have you had this? You're diagnosed with Crohn's as well, right? Mm -hmm. That's what the label was given? Right. How long has that been? So I was diagnosed with Lyme disease and then Crohn's within a couple months of each other um, in, well, I was 20, so five years ago. Okay. And what things, you said you've done different, you've been to different authorities. What types of things have you done? What, what kind? Of so the treatments that I've been through include um, Western medicine, which would include steroids uh, like, uh, I forget the name, but steroids would include steroids and a medication called Asacol to help with inflammation, which only just made it worse. And, um, I mean, I've been in the hospital three times, three different times. I was on the verge of needing a transfusion because my uh, blood was getting so low. And, um, yeah, so I've, I've had a lot of scary moments that took me to the hospital or doctors that then did um, colonoscopies to see what was going on. Could they tell anything from that? Um, all they could tell was that I needed to have, I needed to be on a serious medication and I was going to need to be on that medication for the rest of my life. And it was when they told me that, that I refused to uh, accept that and started to look for different options. That then took me to acupuncture, which worked for a while, but then, um, you know, it came back eventually through stress and, and uh, I think it kind of just quieted the storm and the thing is I was also coming off steroids then so the steroids will temporarily kind of calm everything down telling your immune system to shut off and stop responding and so then that led me to acupuncture actually I was okay for a couple months and then flared up again due to needing to take antibiotics which are terrible for the gut um, and then I found a naturopath again I was put on steroids before I went to the naturopath, um, so it had kind of quieted it down. And then when, as I got into the naturopath's regimen of enzymes, I was feeling better. But then six months later, again, another flare, as they call it, and I was needing to be hospitalized. But I, at this point, I said, no, I do not want to go that route because I knew where it leads and every time they put me on medication, they, it kind of brings me a couple steps backwards in reality, even though it seems like you get better. Um, so then I kind of toughed out for a long time. I've been suffering like at least a year, just being a lot of pain, not, not being able to truly figure out like what is the cause of this bowel dysfunction and just gut pain. And then when I came here to Living Waters, it all made sense because you guys, Living Waters explained uh, the role of parasites and how, how much that can affect uh, what's going on in your body. So the fact that I've had Lyme for five years and I was unable to treat it with antibiotics immediately and take care of it, the fact that that bug has been in my body is the main reason I've never been able to get well, I believe. And so coming here after 10 days of cleansing and seeing those parasites come out and um, 
just you know, getting on the process of that parasite cleanse and staying on that, I can tell it is so important because that, for me, that is the main source of bowel dysfunction. I can't gain, I wasn't able to gain weight because the parasites were absorbing all my nutrition. Um, so that, in addition to, I think, just cleaning out my colon and my gut after all this, what, five years of not really having normal stool, and yeah, one thing that I noticed that was a really big part of uh, the healing process while doing the 10 day cleanse was the role of emotions in healing. And um, it was amazing how many tools they give you at Living Waters and um, you know, you can kind of choose which ones resonate with you and then you can create your own like ideal um, healing process and emotions emotions are huge because well okay so you've heard everyone has heard okay positive think positive don't think negative and I kind of was one a person who thought that was like silly and but then when you realize how much your body and your cells and everything inside of you is affected by your mind and what you think and what you feel, most importantly what you feel, um, then you start to see how important it is to work on how you experience life. Are you going to respond to something in a angry way or are you going to respond to something in a, okay let's say it's not a good thing but you like problem solve instead of anger or even if you do get angry, processing that anger and learning how to process that anger. Um, or even learning the importance of processing the anger. Some people have the tools, but don't put them to use. And um, when you go through this program, you see how important it is to really process through every emotion and to work through those and to not harbor it in your body because that turns into disease. What were some of the tools that you learned here that was important to you that you took, back, took away from this? Like specific ones? Yeah. Okay. I would say, so I learned a lot of tools um, going through the 10 day cleanse and the most important ones to me were first uh, muscle testing, which is tapping into your body's natural ability and intelligence to tell you what it wants. Um, for example, I now know that I do not want bread. My body does not want bread because every time I muscle test for it, it gives me, it tells me no. Um, let's see, other tools would be uh, the learning, so not only learning the importance of emotions, but also learning specific ways that you can um, turn negative thinking into positive thinking, one of which is uh, affirmations, and just kind of almost convincing yourself and convincing your body to be in that state that you want to be in, go there, um, and then eventually your body starts to kind of believe that you are there, and then the results speak for themselves. Um, all the books and all the, or the book, Louise Hayes, You Can Heal Your Life was huge for me and to see, okay, go to the, a point in your body and track what might be the problem. So, and I would do that the moment I felt anything throughout this cleanse, I was trying to test it out and see, okay, if I had pain in my eye or something, I'd go and see what the cause was and it's like not liking what you see. Um, and it would be crazy how accurate it was. So to learn how the pain is connected to thoughts as well as the emotional techniques, you, I mean, that's a tool I'm gonna to carry for the rest of my life, is to just um, have the ability to free myself from negative thoughts and thus disease. I recommend, I recommend everybody do this. Um, I want to get my dad to do it, I want to get my mom to do it, I want to get my sister to do it. Um, I feel like everybody could benefit from this because unfortunately we live in a place 
called society, <laughs> where all these toxins are around us, and um, the reality is that you can't really avoid taking them in. Um, that includes through your food and through the air. So I think everybody needs to do it, and uh, you'll just feel better and just cleaner. And it's kind of like you know you wouldn't you wouldn't just brush your teeth once and then stop. Um, healing and keeping clean is like a continual process. So like if you're just taking a pill and thinking that's going to solve your problem. I mean, it's, uh, there's nothing like cleansing. I think it's the mo it's, that's it's so rejuvenating. It's a lot of work. You go through a lot and you get rid of a lot and literally, <laughs> and, um, but I think everyone will benefit from it. Everyone, no matter what your health problem is, no matter if it's like a problem with your foot or a obvious issue in your stomach. I think a lot of people think that colonics are just for if you have stomach issues or intestinal issues, but um, I'm learning and seeing that it affects and helps all types of problems. So, so you went from having you know Lyme's, Crohn's, severe gut pains, all these issues. Uh, you went to multiple different practitioners. No one ever suggested doing any kind of cleansing? No one ever suggested clonics at all. I had asked a, one of my naturopaths um, what she thought about clonics a couple years ago and she totally brushed it off and said, oh, don't, don't even bother, don't think about that. So unfortunately I was never introduced to it and it's such a shame because it's um, um, I mean, I can't wait to do it again. I'm already thinking about the next time, so. Do it. Do it now. You will feel so much better. 